but I handle iron easily. Here I really struggled to start when it first turned on. So uh, most times what this is is the capacitor. I'm going to show you that. And I can change the capacitor. I'm going to unplug it here. And um, you have to open things up here. Get into some tight quarters here. Change it out. No big deal. And should be able to get it going. Change that capacitor. Looks like we got a couple screws holding this closed. So need to take those out. Again. What happens with these? The capacitor starts to lose its phase. The capacitor gives the fan motor its initial start to start turning and once it starts losing its microfarad phase it loses its ability to start eventually and so that's what's going on with this one so change it out no big deal Unfortunately, it didn't fail completely, so didn't have a chew, no call, no cool call. But eventually, that would happen. So good to catch it early. There we go. Passers hanging up right there. Already unplugged the deal there. It's a plug. Capacitor holds a charge in it even after the power is disconnected. So a lot of the fan motors do uh, cancel out, but um, it's still just good practice just in case something happened, something went wrong. It's just a good idea to always discharge anyway. You just never know. And, uh, that way he's going to prove it out, cancel it out. No worries, it's a, a couple second deal to just be a little safer. So I'm going to pull the little cap off here. And we're just going to bridge the lead with the metal portion of the screwdriver. I'm holding only the insulated portion. No biggie. And we'll take both leads off here. wanting to be stubborn. There we go. Okay, now to remove that little one, what I do, instead of taking the whole thing out, is just take my 5-in-1 screwdriver apart, and I can use just this little, little piece here in my pliers, and undo it here. if you could just loosen it up and slide it out, but I usually find I just need to pop it out. It just is what it is. There's our old one. Yeah. yeah I can test it back at the shop to show the uh, effect, but, you know, testing it here is going to show the effect even better. real test is uh, the deal in action. So we can put one lead on each side. We can put our cover back on.
here I can remelt it back in school. I don't want to over tighten it there. The profile's a little bit bigger. We're good to go. Put everything back together. And we're all set. AC fixed. No more slow start. That one was a slow start for the air conditioning. Yeah. Got all the bolts back in, got everything all sealed back up. Now we're ready to see how fast she starts. Beautiful. One more slow starting AC. Little rattle, but anyway, one more slow starting AC. We're good to go. Just had to adjust things up a little bit. Okay, let's test this puppy just to show where we're at. There's the junker. And uh, let's take my meter and set it on microfarads. Whatever you can see it. I'm go one lead to each side. It'll take a second to charge up. Saying offline. There we go. 0.586. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, 0.586. It's weird. Actually, uh, test that out okay. That's a little weird. It's a five microfarad capacitor, but uh, anyway, the proof's in the uh, situation, right? Point five eight six, and this is a five microfarad capacitor, so it's actually over the limit. <laughs> But anyway, bad cap, change it out, we're good to go. Thanks for watching. Come to maintenance. Overnight.